Welcome back and last time I had 3D printed uh, some of these ribs and so the guys are finishing off uh, the heavy layers now on the molds for these ones and uh, I'll see how they come out and so this is an experiment to see if we can use the 3D printer and here's Jeff uh, putting the second coat of primer on the last of the upper wing skin molds or plugs I should say um, preparation for giving that the last round of sanding and then waxing so we can pull the final mold uh, for the big wing skins and here's the left side winglet uh, plug and that's obviously just the foam there so that's ready for glassing and so the guys on Wednesday morning quickly took that one off the mill and glassed it with um, resin using the high speed um, or fast curing hardener and then we actually put it in our oven for a little bit which helped it along so it was quickly ready um, by early afternoon to spray the putty on it so here you can see um, this is afternoon on Wednesday and um, already up on the machine and getting the putty run. So the oven actually came in handy in that case. It allowed us to quickly get that one cured um, just with you know one coat of glass and then get both of them sprayed um, with the putty on there. So even though we didn't have the thermostat, uh, we just basically manually controlled the oven there. It was only for about an hour or two and uh, it basically did the job. So here's the other one there and that one just needs to go up on the machine and get remilled. And Chris and Roberto not wasting any time on that uh, last uh, upper wing skin plug, getting the last round of sanding on that so it can get waxed. So that's um, nice to finally have that one getting close to being done. And behind the scenes we have been ordering different things and this is the actual pump and reservoir for our um, hydraulic system for the landing gear and it's a little bit oversized but it's basically um, the only one we can get. Um, that's going to suit for what we need. So anyway, that's arrived and uh, that'll be ready for us to install uh, come later on when it's time. And here's the left side wing plug now and that's mostly done and it's just uh, been switched over to the ball mill where it runs these little sort of convex transitions between the flanges there. So that's pretty much the last part of what needs to happen on that one and that's actually coming out really well so got really got this process sort of dialed now it doesn't take too long to, to get a really nice finish now that the machine's all set up and I know how to use it and this is at the other end again just running the ball mill and because it's quite a steep face there just basically running back and forth with a pretty tight step over there and um, being that it's not a, a large area it doesn't take too long um, to do that and you get a nice uh, transition between those two flanges there. And here we're just running a swarf cut around uh, one of the access panels there and that just defines the, the edge there because even though it's sort of been milled prior to that um, the edges weren't defined. So all of our turbo goodies arrived so it was time to start configuring everything and as you can see here here's the intake on the uh, number one turbo and the angle on that one is set to 13 degrees so what I do is go here with the inclinometer and basically set up the same thing and um, get that dialed in because those the turbos itself, the cold side and the hot side and actually the center section they can all rotate independently and then you sort of bolt them up um, to be tight and so here's the other one and uh, this is the, the hot side there 3.4 degrees and actually I was going to set that one up and then I realized because of the different flanges on this thing they had a problem um, and this is how you actually do it here, you just loosen off those bolts and um, then the whole flange there um, can rotate around the central point as you can see there. The problem is that the hot side flange there is hitting our aluminum mounting post and it didn't happen on the other turbo because that one had a V-band flange which is narrower. So this thing that there you can see is too steep right now, it needs to be more horizontal but it can't rotate any further because the back side of it there is hitting that aluminum post so I have to basically cut out part of that aluminum post and use a shorter bolt there but it's not a big problem it's just something else that has to be done so more work on uh, the turbos to go yet and here's the first of those winglet plugs off the machine now and it has the guide coat sprayed on there so ready uh, for the first round of sanding and it came out fine uh, no real problems on that one and here's the second one and that one's um, mostly done on the machine there and so it won't be long and that one will be off as well and um, you know ready for sanding so both of those done in in short amount of time this week so I had the brilliant idea of putting these uh, molds in the oven with the other stuff to get them to cure quicker to release and then totally didn't think about this big air cavity in there and so <laughs> the whole thing 
kind of blew up like a balloon and now it has a curvature in there so these ones kind of toast now but they were a good experiment anyway we kind of wanted to redo them so here's the new ones that I'm sort of working on now and you see I'm putting a little radius on the edge there so we don't have to sort of do that with the um, the clay that we have so anyway uh, more molds will be done on those uh, next week so this is Friday now and this is that upper wing skin plug and uh, you can see it's all wax there and pretty much ready it just needs to have the rubber profile put on there and then uh, core cut and the um, it'll be ready to lay up the mold for that one so possibly next week towards the end of next week with that although we've got a lot of other things going on as well and here's that left winglet plug and that one's pretty much had its first round of sanding so that one uh, is will be getting primed next week and the other one as you'll see here in a second is um, about halfway through getting its sanding done for the first round of sanding so I'm moving along quite quickly with those and then of course we still have the inside um, winglet plugs to go but they'll be a sort of a couple of weeks away and try not to sort of fill up the shop with all these plugs again so now that I have the turbos and the wastegates and all the other different bits and pieces I took some more measurements off there because some of the stuff I had was just estimates and the sl things, some things were slightly off and uh, so I had to basically make some adjustments in the CAD and then that throw, threw off uh, some of the plumbing so I pretty much spent the whole day today figuring out exactly how to get this transition from turbo 1 to turbo 2 on the hot side sorted out because it was just too tight and it wasn't going to work with the radius that I had but I finally got it sorted out I think and I just have to sort of verify things a little bit more um, over the rest of this weekend and we should be ready to start cutting some uh, pipe next week for that. Anyway that's your update for this week and thanks again for watching.